Hey ladies, it's Kristen. Today I'm going to try to help you stay organized in the kitchen. One way I like to stay organized is keep my recipes all in one spot and all at my fingertips. So what I have done is made a folder full of recipes. So I'm going to show you how I have done this. I've gotten just the little clear sleeves and I have added my recipes to them, to the pages. Sometimes some of them are printed from the computer, other ones are like on little recipe cards and I've just taped them to the inside of a piece of paper and kept them like that. I have labels such as bread, soups, side dishes, main dishes, uh, salads, cookies, pies, cakes, frosting, bars and fudge, Donuts. I'm not very good at making donuts yet, but I'm still trying. Oh shoot. And drinks and meal planning. Yeah, so that's not nice. So anyway, <laughs> my meal planning looks kind of like this. This is a monthly meal plan that I did obviously way back in 2012. But this was a monthly. I've been now lately doing a weekly and it seems to be helping much easier. So I'm going to show you how we do that. At the beginning of this mess, now, I keep a page in there. I wrote it and then just made some copies. And it's just the days of the week. And then a grocery list starter. So what I've done is, there's one over here. I'll make a list of what I'm going to make for the week. Um, right now I have one thing. So let's just make pretend, say Saturday, we're having um, chicken and rice. Let's say taco night. I'm just throwing out stuff, fish and potatoes. So say I have my list all done. What I'm gonna do is either find my recipe in here of what this is. And then over here, I'm gonna say for veggies, what do I need for my chicken and rice meal? Well, I might need some carrots. So I'm gonna write that. For my taco night, I'm gonna need tomatoes. I'm gonna need onions, things like that. Okay, so you're gonna write that all under your either your different categories. I have veggies, dairy, meats, but organics, baking, grains, frozen, and miscellaneous. Under my miscellaneous, I have, you know, like toilet paper, paper towels, canned, canned foods, drinks, shampoos, etc. And obviously, uh, this makes it so much quicker at the grocery store. All your veggies is all in one spot. You grab them. All your meats in one spot. Grab that. But obviously, make it how it is in your grocery store. Like, are the organics mixed in with all of the other things? Whatever fits your style, this is my way of doing it. Um, and also, another really good way to keep yourself organized is your pantry. So I'm going to show you my pantry. So come with me to my pantry. And everybody's pantry is different. When I was in Maine, I had a complete, huge walk-in pantry. A huge walk-in pantry. I don't have that here. So now I had to revamp it and make it this way. So excuse the door. So here we go. On this side, I have all of my, I guess you call savory spices like the cumin and all of that, mustard seeds, I've got pepper, garlic, all of the things I would use in savory meals. And on this door, I have all of more my baking type of uh, spices. I have nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, clove, pumpkin pie spice, honey, the baking things, baking soda, baking powder, evaporated milks, yeast, I guess could go in either one, and my oils and my extracts so on the bottom here don't judge my food <laughs> but I have you know cereals and snacks and potatoes sweet potatoes regular potatoes all on the floor and then I have a this is all organized as in you know extras like extra hot sauces or Italian dressings or mustards all your canned goods soups green beans tomatoes beans etc. 
And then on this line is my baking section. So everything, if I'm baking something and I need to get chocolate chips, I know chocolate chips, cake mixes, cookie mixes, my almond bar is all right here. Um, some of my prepared things like organic macaroni and cheese, some my quinoas, and then I have some pankos and stuff. All that kind of stuff is right in this area. This line is more baking. Obviously, I do a lot of baking. So all my um, like specialty flours, brown sugars, regular flour, gluten-free flours, powdered sugars, all in this line. And then obviously up here is a few like snacky crackers and then my pasta line. So when I'm doing a meal and I say, okay, I need to make some, I need my pasta and I need some diced tomatoes and I need some spices. It's so easy to grab. I'm not wasting my time saying, okay, where is the spaghetti? Where's my tomato? Everything's right here. So it makes my life a lot less stressful. So just taking a few extra minutes to organize when you come home with your groceries to put them all away into an organized manner your life will be way less stressful you make your menu at the beginning of the week and how we do is we ask the girls what your one meal so abby's get one meal sydney gets a meal steve and i so that's already your four meals so you just need to find out what kind of food everybody wants to eat write that all down Find out what ingredients you need, you're going to save money, you're going to save time, and you're going to save your stress level. Okay?